Hello everyone. Today we want to build for the bottom app bar widget. We want to build for it that in the center is the floating action button so that it looks really cool. And we want to start here in some widget which you have. And we first start by going here and writing floating action button. And then you see here we can build a floating action button. And this gets some parameters. So first of all, child. And then we can set it here, for example, icons add. So this is like really basic stuff. You can have it on press if you want to do something. So you can print something, for example, hello world. So now we have here this floating action button, which you get in every normal Flutter application. And here we have another attribute, which is called floating action button location. And if we go to this location, then you can say here what you want. So you have a lot of selection, but we want to go for the center docked. And this means that you see the floating action button is like really down. And this is really what we need later because we want to build here our navigation bar under it. And then it should be like inside of this navigation bar. So I guess there's also here center float, then it's more at the top, but we go with the other one center docked. All right. Now we go here into this body property and here we will create a new widget. So I write here tab bar material widget. And we want to create it here inside of our widget. So I go here inside and I write here tab bar material widget. Then I created here a stateful widget and we want to show here instead of a container, we want to show here a bottom app bar. And here inside we have a property which is called child. And here we want to build with children all of our tabs. So let's maybe write a new method here for each tab. So I write here build tab item and it returns a widget. And here inside we return an icon button with an icon. So we set this as a property and on pressed. So I will put here an icon inside and also later an index, which we get. So let's make this maybe like this. We add here required. So this looks good. And we want to create here multiple of it. So we go here inside of our row and we create here multiple icons. So this one here, and it has the index of zero. And let's just copy it multiple times and create some more tabs. So now I have created all of these tabs here and I think we just can make it showing. So let's go to the main and here inside, we want to import this tab bar material widget, which we have created before. And you will see that we have here right now this app bar here at the top. So that is wrong. So we want to put it instead of this body property, we want to set here the bottom navigation bar, and then it will be here at the bottom, like you can see. All right. So now all of these are here, not at the right position. So let's go back to our tab bar material widget. And here in the row, we will add something which is called main axis alignment. And then we want to set the main axis alignment to space evenly. And now you see we have here a little bit better, but here it looks not that good. So we also need to change it here. So what I will do is I will create here a placeholder widget. And here at the beginning, I write this placeholder. So we will create just the same. So we create an icon button, which is here in the middle and can choose whatever you want. I choose, for example, this, and we can keep it here even to now. And of course we need to put here icon in around and then we create here another widget around. So I want to use the opacity widget. So basically we don't want that this widget, this placeholder is shown in the UI. So I set here the opacity to zero. And now you see it here at the bottom, we have it much better. So we have two at the left side and one here in the middle and two at the right side. And here in the middle is this placeholder, which you don't see. So we place instead this 
floating action button. All right, so this is but what you can basically do, but maybe you want to change here the design a little bit so that here it looks much more stylish. <laughs> And therefore you go here to the bottom app bar and you simply go here to the shape and then you write here circular notched rectangle and if you then hot reload you will see that here this gets a new form so it looks much better now. What you also can do is to set here this notched margin if you like so you can set it to a higher value and if you do this you will see that this is also changing the form a little bit so you can try different levels out so you see here that you have more space um, i like this with eight for example so this is really cool so whatever you like you can just play around a little bit with these values and then it makes here more space or less space so let's make this also functional so we will see that later there's a little bit trick which we need to do for this one here so that everything is working fine so let's set up all of these icons that we have like different pages and basically i have added here already four pages so i have created an email page a search page an account page or like a profile page and a settings page and this is what we want to set up in the main file so i create here under the state a new field which has all the pages so we have here all these pages which i named before and i simply import all of them and that's the first step what we need to do then we want to add here an index and the index is set to zero so that we first of all start with this tab here and this should be selected and now we want to set this index here for our widget which we have created our tab bar material widget so we set this here inside and we also want here another one which is called on change tab and i will also create this one so let's create these both variables here inside so i go here and create these both so first of all this index and then we also want to create a value changed so that we can give back here which index we have selected all right, I also created this constructor here. And now we go simply here to this build tab item method. And here inside, we want to first of all see if we have our index selected. So we go here, is selected. So if is our tab is selected, then we want just to compare our index, which we have set here. So every tab has an index, zero, one, two and three and we want to compare this to the index which we get here inside from the outside world and this is then determining if we have selected this tab or not now we want then to wrap this here around with a new widget which is called icon theme and this gets here a data property so we can set here the icon theme data and I will quickly show you why we are doing this so basically we want to override the icon color which we have here and this is what you can do with this color property so it will change all the icon colors below this widget here and we have here this icon button so it will change this color of this icon button and here we simply say if this tab is selected then we want to show like maybe a color of red otherwise we want to show this inactive color which is black all right i write here obviously colors and i will also make use here instead of this on press we want to send back which tab we have selected so i go here on change tab and then i will put this index of this tab inside and that's it all right and that's it for this widget i guess and now we can go here back to our main file we need to change here something so we want to create this on change tab method also and this gets here this new index and what we do is we simply set here this index which we have at our state level here we set it to the new index which we have tapped and now you see after we have hot reloaded that this index is selected because we have set the zero index to the selected state and now if we tap here you see that we can select like different icons or different tabs and now we want to show different pages depending on this tabs so basically we take this pages property 
and now we create here again this body and inside of this body here we want to place one of these pages so i write here pages and just the index of this page and now you see it has already changed i have created for example the settings page which is showing currently and here we have an app bar but we also have here an app bar so in this main file so i will just remove this one so we have only one and now it looks much better so basically we have here for every tab which we can click a different page so we have here a profile page with a different image a mail page just to show you that we have different pages and we can go here between these pages and yeah these pages are like some content which i show here that's all so it's like really simple stuff all right so the last thing i want to show you is that you see here this widget which we have here for example in the settings page or also in other pages that here there is something white under it and maybe you want to show that here this content of this page so maybe something of this image and how we can do this is you go to the main file and here at the scaffold you have another property which is called extend body and here you can set this to true and if you do this you see that here we get this image below visible and every time we change here also you see it directly under this one so i think this is much better than before and also if you go to other pages with this extend body property you will always see that here is something visible also hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye